And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to use the color rotation. Let me just use it on this example. I'll copy it, rename it. And you will find the menu under colors map and there is the rotate colors function. Check the preview. Let us first go over the gray handling, which is easier to understand. The saturation is at zero, so we can bring back these gray areas if we increase the threshold. But if we increase the saturation, it's going to be a different hue, so it's not going to be gray. And this is defined by the hue slider below right here. For example, now it's reddish. And if you go up, it's yellow, green, blue. The drop down, it doesn't really change much in most cases. In this, it doesn't have much of an effect at all. But this would be the gray handling. The other two options, so source and destination range, they're somewhat connected. So they're a little bit harder to understand. They look the same. But if we, for example, adjust the destination range first, we can adjust it with from and to. And both of these arrows, they symbolize the two options. So the first one is to, the second from. And if you adjust a from and you don't see much of an effect, it's because they are connected, as I've said. So first, find a color combination that works on the source range. Because for now, we don't see an effect at all with the destination range. So let us go up with the source range up here. We can, for example, make it yellowish or orange, something like this. And with two, you can add more colors to it. Let me use something like this, so it gets completely yellow or orange. You can also basically flip it with the clockwise option right here. Once you have such a color combination, the destination range, it makes sense. The destination range has an effect. So this is why you should first find a good combination and a source range where you can see an effect and then you can adjust the color down here. For example, let me make it like purple, violet. And this was the original. As always, confirm it via clicking on OK. And you can use this color rotation to give your photos these color filters. I think it's not the best option to create these photo filters. I've shown you other options in my tutorial, so check out my playlist if you want to have an easier way to create these colored photo filters. But you can try it out and maybe you like it way more than I do. In any case, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.